Now look at the knees. The knees are absolutely straight. The hips, the knees, and the shoes is one line. Yeah? Here also. The hip, the knee, and the shoe. Yeah, great. Absolutely. The whole new auto shoe. Everybody, uh, yeah, it was a great event organized by WeMove and uh, Adidas. A big thanks to all of you. Uh, yeah, today I will switch in English uh, because most of you um, guys uh, come from different countries, and therefore I guess English is the best uh, language for all of us. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's do it. Uh, but before to start, uh, just a quick disclosure. Neither uh, WeMove nor Adidas paid me to wear these shoes or to do this review. And no worry with my personal talk before to upload the video for you on YouTube, guys. So let's start uh, with the new Adidas Adizero Adios Pro, which is not the same as Adizero Pro. It's still a carbon uh, shoes, but um, with a different concept uh, in the midsole. Uh, the weight is uh, around 224 uh, grams and the uh, US 9 sides and uh, it's 30.5mm uh, high on the forefoot and 38.5mm uh, high in the heel uh, close to the 14mm limit set by the World Athletics the midsole is actually the new concept kudos to Adidas to have delivered something different um, we are not talking about a, a single carbon plate yeah, in the midsole there is a carbon fiber but it's not a plate nor a, even half a plate instead there are five carbon fiber rods which are placed in line with your uh, uh, metadarsal bones and the uh, heel plate, part carbon fiber and part nylon on top of the midsole uh, which provide uh, stability, particularly useful when you start to be tired and uh, when you start to strike on the heel. The midsole is made up of two layers of a light strike pro. Lastly, a nylon and carbon fiber heel plate uh, give the ankle stability while delivering a smooth ride. The material using the midsole and the light strike pro uh, for is the uh, brand lightest uh, foam, although not the lightest on the market, but it gives a brilliant uh, mix of uh, firmness and energy amount. What, what I really like is that uh, Adidas work in collaboration with elite athletes to develop the Adios Pro and the runner provided uh, to the brand uh, with quality feedbacks during the design process, leading to really a good result. The hopper is in a uh, cellar mesh and it's uh, really great. It reminds me the same upper of the shoes that I'm usually uh, use on the track and field for um, 
uh, fast training, so even for the races. I love that it's really light, and uh, but at the same time also um, super durable. Of course, it is not waterproof, uh, but it's really uh, breathable. And all its shape and uh, your foot in place. And uh, it's extremely tough uh, for something that is uh, so light. The fit, unfortunately, is not perfect. Even if the toe box uh, isn't particularly roomy, my suggestion is to lock down the shoes well, uh, also to gain uh, stability in the heel area, which is really important, especially during uh, fast sessions. In this regard, there are uh, different lacing holes uh, so that you can adjust uh, and find your uh, favorite uh, configuration. The tongue is really light uh, without uh, any padding, but uh, it was not an issue for me. Uh, even during the past sessions, uh, it didn't annoy me at all. Regarding the household, it's not so terrible. Remind me the household from uh, a 6 meter razor, which is not bad in terms of grip, uh, but for sure nowhere uh, near as good as uh, the continental rubber grip. Uh, in terms of durability, you can see from the video, uh, the rubber is really thin. Uh, and uh, most likely uh, the duration will be not so long. There is no torsion system, but I think the foam used the new Light Strike Pro is not so squishy, so it helps to gain stability. My first impression is that the Adios Pro is a very fast shoe, and comfortable and more stable than other shoes, perhaps because the energy rods, which allow your foot to move um, more naturally than a single carbon plate, but even though it's more stable uh, than other shoes, still uh, the heel area is really narrow and therefore I didn't find the shoe uh, comfortable, especially during slow pace and medium pace. Luckily, as I said, the Light Strike Pro is not so squishy as uh, other uh, forms like for instance the DNA flashes in the uh, Hyperion uh, Tempo or Hyperion Elite because otherwise the feeling would have been even worse. I felt like to have more control than a uh, uh, traditional carbon plate shoe with the uh, energy roads uh, the ride felt smooth, uh, responsive, light and uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, what my feet were uh, going to do when uh, they push it off. I think the Adios Pro will be a shoe to reserve for uh, a race day for long its life and uh, I would definitely use this shoe uh, starting from a 10k race till a marathon uh, but honestly I'm not sure about the uh, 5k race or other lower distances. I hope guys you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and yeah, see you next time.